welcome back guys very quick video today showing you how to change the three-way cartridge and of course the motorized head uh, on a diverter valve it's a very simple task but as always guys make sure you're very competent in doing this task if not seek a professional's help so without any further ado let's get straight into the video and show you how to do it we're going to go ahead and isolate the boiler, the electrical supply, remove the fuse and lock it off at the mains. We're then going to go to the boiler, remove the two securing screws at the front holding the case on, remove the front cover exposing the internals of the boiler. The new cartridge is of brass construction, there may be a plastic one in place, you just have to be very careful when removing. We're going to start by locking off the boiler from the flow and the return beneath and of course the cold mains inlet. Turn them to the off position. We're then going to release the pressure from the tap and start to drain the boiler. The first thing that I do is remove the securing pin holding the head in place. And then I remove the head so it exposes the pin below. Being careful not to spill the water on the electrics, you may need some rag down there or a little bit of a towel. Inside there there's a little pin that you have to depress about several times just to release any water that's in there. We're then going to attach a small hose to the drain off cock inside the boiler and start to drain into a bucket below. After this has stopped draining, we're going to go ahead and remove the cartridge just by attaching our adjustable grips onto the cartridge, gripping lightly and turning to unscrew. You may find you, you'll get a little bit of water come out here, it's perfectly normal, just put a bit of rag down to catch any that does expel. You can then go ahead and remove the cartridge in a safe manner. You will have to unscrew or loosen or slacken the nut on the heating flow isolation. Just do this gently and you might get a little bit of water but that's perfectly normal. It is important that the nut underneath on the flow is undone. It allows the correct fitting of the replacement cartridge. If it's not undone, it's possible for a lower seal on the cartridge to create a hydraulic lock and can result in damage. So make sure you unscrew that flow nut gently. Then go ahead and insert the new cartridge. Once you are satisfied and you've done it hand tight, you can go ahead and tighten it up gently with the grips, being careful not to over tighten. Make sure you reconnect the motorised head by depressing it and putting in the securing clip. Then go ahead and underneath tighten up the securing nut on the flow. After this open up the isolation flow and return cocks and repressurise the system to about 1 to 1.5 bar. Next we're going to attach the motorised connection block head back on to the motorised head. There is a correct way of doing this, as you can see it is already notched out, so make sure you get this the correct way to prevent damage. After you've done this, you have then replaced the diverter valve on your boiler. Then turn the electrics back on and recommission the boiler. So hopefully this has helped you, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video guys. Thank you very much for watching.